So as I explained in an earlier video, this is the house where I've been living in. And I've got two bicycles and I decided that I wanted to live here because this house has got a nice garage. And I was hoping that's where I'd be keeping my bikes. But unfortunately the house has been under new management that uh, doesn't think students should be allowed to have a garage to keep their stuff in. And they've locked it and not allowed us to keep anything inside. Which has been real downside to living here. Um, so as I showed in the last video, um, I built something in the backyard back here for keeping my bikes in, um, which is back here, under this tarp under this little roof here. And it had enough room to fit one bike in, uh, but it was very tight. You know, the handlebars could just barely fit through that gap there. And uh, not to mention, getting there, I had to walk across all of this grass or snow or whatever happened to be there at the time, which over time, you know, gets very soggy and muddy. Um, so I built a second shelter, which I've been pretty happy with, and I'm just going to sh show what that looks like. So the other shelter I built on the side of the garage um, was built between the garage and the fence, which is over there to the side. And I built it out of uh, four uh, small tarps, all tarps I bought uh, from Dollarama. They are $1.25 each, I think. And uh, so a really inexpensive uh, solution to this problem. So I'll just show how it works. So to open it up, I've just got this bungee cord here, which is um, attached to a screw here, which I just pull off like that. It comes undone. And then I can hook it over here to this uh, uh, milk crate that I've got just sitting over here, which holds the door open so I can get my bikes in and out. So this milk crate was just full of garbage that was sitting out here, and I just used it as a temporary uh, place to put that uh, when it's not attached to this screw that I have over here. I'll just show the inside. It has made out of four tarps, and uh, I got one that's attached up to the ceiling, which comes down across, another one that goes down, attached to the that pole for the fence, and then there's another one attached to a rope, which is tied to a cinder block. Uh, this one along the back, it doesn't really do a whole, an awful lot. Um, I added that one afterwards. It just keeps you know, snow that can blow in between the cracks um, in the fence and uh, just makes it a little bit more uh, clean inside. And uh, then of course the one on the front, which is attached to the fence there, attached to the, the, uh, the garage there, and then it's attached to the fence down there. And the uh, fourth corner is the one that's attached to the bungee cord. And then the very important one, which goes along the top, um, which is bolted in three places um, along the, the roof there. It's fastened uh, securely to the other side of the fence and I made sure that I made this you know, nice and tight uh, because the thing is once snow starts to build up on there uh, if there's if there's if it's able to it will start to sag down and uh, and then eventually you know the snow will keep building up keep building up and it's too much weight and then the tarp will just rip down the middle so um, I'm trying to make it as tight as possible so that the snow would slide off and uh, a little bit does accumulate but as long as I'm out here every few days um, as soon as I see it I'll just you know, go like that and then the snow comes off. So this shelter is big enough for fitting both of my bikes in it, which is great. Um, I'll just show how they go in. If I take them in forwards, push it in. I got mirrors on both of them, so I just fold the mirror in, push it in. Chain this one up against the fence. And I take the second one. Again, push it in. up against the other bike and then I just have to go like this and both my bikes are securely fastened away. So I much prefer this design over my first one because there's enough room for two bikes and uh, you know there's lots of space I could even come in here myself and close the door and it's nice and nice and big and nice and protected as well. Uh, protected on all uh, I guess six sides including the wall here. Um, it's good to have lots of space in here uh, because uh, when I want to come in here and I want to lock my bikes up, you know, it gives me lots of clearance to get my whole body in here, you know, to, to, to access the, uh, the parts of the bikes that I want to lock up. Um, another feature that I want to point out that I've added here, so notice along the floor, there's cardboard boxes, pizza boxes. Um, the thing that happens in the winter, or in the spring mostly, when, when snow's melting and thawing and stuff, you know, you get a lot of this mucky, muddy sort of stuff here um, on the areas, you know, over there it's still nice and grassy, but if I was walking on that every day, it would look something like that, and uh, this little area here, you know, you're, you're constantly 
you know, walking back and forth on it, driving your bike in and out. So I've just saved up lots of pizza boxes and just, you know, covered this whole area here. And even inside here, uh, this part has actually been good because it's really built up quite high with the dirt. And there's kind of a mound, you know, that sticks up inside there, which is good because, uh, you know, it's high ground. The water runs out of there, but, but still it does get a little bit s soggy in there because there's not really any any grass that's grown in there or anything. So these tires have actually worked really well considering, you know, I only paid $1.25 for each of them. You know, none of them have got rips or anything in them. The only thing that I've had to do to them, uh, to a lot of the corners of the grommets, is I've had to reinforce them with duct tape uh, because the grommet will just rip out of there. It's not very well fastened, but uh, with a little bit of duct tape, uh, just, you know, just going flat, flat pieces covering where the grommet goes, um, it's worked out, you know, really well. Anyway, I just wanted to demonstrate uh, the shelter that I've built here and uh, just to show you that uh, you know you can build something that's pretty pretty good for protecting the bike with uh, very small cost only you know a dollar twenty five times four plus the duct tape I've used plus you know the screws that I've used which I'm probably going to reuse anyways when I'm done um, so yeah that's just what I was showing uh, thanks for watching